Hello guys, welcome sa ating panibagong video tutorial. Ngayon, problem 2 na tayo sa topic na deflection. Itong problem 2 ay nakuha natin dito sa problem 655 ng Central Material 4th edition ni Andrew Pytel and Ferdinand L. Singer. So, sabi dito, find the value of ELY at the point of application of the 200 Nm couple in figure 656. So, ito yung figure 656 natin. And may given answer siyang 392 Nm cube. So, hanapin daw natin yung ELY under sa point of application ng 200 Nm na moment. So, ito na nga yung figure natin. And yung una muna natin gagawin is to solve for the reaction 1 and reaction 2. So, kung mag-solving R1 tayo, kailangan natin mag-sum ng moment dito sa R2. So, kung mag-commission moment R2 tayo, so, sabihin natin clockwise is positive. So, meron tayong R1. Yung distance ng R1 sa R2, 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. Then, itong 200, 500 newton, yung rotation niya is counterclockwise, kaya magiging minus. Distance niya is 3. And then, meron tayong moment ng beam. So, yung rotation ng moment ng beam natin is counterclockwise, kaya minus 200. And then, equals 0. Okay? So, to solve R1, kailangan natin i-transpose ito sa kabila. So, we have R1 times 4. So, ito magiging 1, 5. Minus 200. So, magiging positive 1, 7. So, yung R1 natin is 425 Newton. So, solving for R2. So, meron tayong R2 times moment arm niya na 4. So, in ko na counterclockwise is positive. Then, yung 500, negative kasi yung ikot niya is clockwise. Kaya, negative siya. Multiply sa 1, yung moment arm niya, about R1. And, meron tayong internal moment na 200 newton meter so yung ikot niya is counterclockwise kaya positive so solving for r2 r2 equals 75 newton so para ma-prove na tama yung r1 and r2 natin kailangan lang natin mag summation vertical so prove summation force vertical equals 0 so ano yung mga force vertical natin so we have 500 so r1 plus r2 we have R1 plus R2 minus 500 equals 0. So, yung R1 natin is 425 plus yung R2 na 75 minus 500 equals 0. 0 equals 0. So, tama yung R1 and R2 na na-solve natin. So, yung next thing na gagawin natin, sulat na natin yung formula na gagamitin natin sa double integration. So, yung formula ng double integration is E I Y double prime equals is, is equal to M. So, paano natin mahanap yung M? Okay? So, mahanap natin yung M. Solve natin yung M kapag nag tayo dito sa point O. So, itong point O is nasa cutting section mismo. Okay? So, yung cutting section is may distance na X from our R1. So, para masolve yung M natin. So, kailangan natin mag dito sa point O. So, summation moment at O equals 0. So, in natin yung counterclockwise is positive. So, meron tayong... So, meron na tayong M. So, yung M natin na rotation is counterclockwise, kaya positive. Then, meron tayong 425. Yan yung value ng R1 natin kanina. So, yung ikot niya is counterclockwise, kaya negative. So, yung moment arm ng ating R1 is X. And then, we have 500 newton. Yung ikot ng 500 newton natin is counterclockwise about point O. And yung moment arm natin is X minus 1. And lastly, meron tayong 200 newton meter na internal moment. So, kakapi lang natin yan kasi same lang yung ikot niya sa moment ng ating cutting section. So, yung distance niya is x minus 3 raised to 0. So, ito yung x minus itong length minus 3 raised to 0. So, any number raised to 0 is equals lang naman sa 1. So, sa double integration, ganito yung format na gagamitin natin once na makakakita tayo ng internal moment na given. So, all in all, it is equals 0. So, para masolve natin yung M, lahat ng terms na to is imumove natin outside ng equal sign. So, ito na. So, since nalabas na natin sila sa equal signs, ito na yung magiging value ng M. So, ito substitute natin yung M sa formula na to. So, ito na siya. And then, from the word na double integration, i-integrate natin itong expression twice. So, mag-integrate muna tayo. So, ito na yung magiging uh, itsura niya. So, ito, magiging x squared. So, yung dapat yung magiging denominator niya is same lang sa magiging exponent niya. 
So, dito, raised to 2, denominator is 2. Dito, nag add tayo ng 1, raised to 1, yung denominator niya is 1. So, considered as 200 lang din. And dito, mag tayo ng constant integration, c sub 1. And, nag-integrate na tayo ng isa, so kailangan pa natin mag-integrate ng isa pa. So, finally, ito na yung itsura ng ating uh, sec. Ito na yung itsura ng expression natin pag na-double integrate na natin siya. So, ito, 425 over 6. So, bakit nag-6? Kasi yung denominator niya is naging 3. Mumultiply natin yan sa 2 na denominator kaya naging 6. Same lang dito. And dito, 1 plus 1 naging 2. 2 multiply natin sa denominator niyang 1. Nagiging 200 over 2. Lagyan natin yan ng x kasi constant siya. And magkakaroon ulit tayo ng constant integration c sub 2. So, yung next na gagawin natin is apply natin yung boundary condition. So, boundary condition. So, based sa figure, Kung x daw natin is equal to 0, malamang yung magiging deflection niya is magiging 0. So, isa-substitute natin yan sa equation na to. So, dito makikita natin na yung c2 is equal to 0. Kasi ELY, yung y is 0. So, magiging 0 din ito. Ito magiging 0. Ito magiging 0 minus 1. So, sa double integration, kapag negative, yung makukuha natin dito, consider na yan as 0. So, dito 0 din. C1 times 0 consider as 0 din. So, yung natitira is C2. Lahat ng makikita natin is 0. So, therefore, C2 is 0. Nagay natin. Another boundary condition na kung yung x natin is equals to 4, so, dito sa location ng R2, yung y din natin or yung deflection is equals din sa 0. So, ito, na-substitute ko na siya, guys. So, yung y is 0. Yung x is 4. Yung 4 minus 1 naging 3. 4 minus 3 naging 1. And yung C1 times X naging C1 times 4. So, kung mapapansin natin, pwede natin masolve yung variable C1. So, using calculator, point, negative 545.833 newton meter cube. So, bakit yan ito yung naging units niya? Tandaan natin na yung 425, negative 500, at 200. Oh, sorry pala. Ito pala is raised to 2, not raised to 3. Kasi yung 200 meter natin, is kung mapapansin natin sa figure is naka newton meter na so kung mamultiply natin yan dito sa 1 na meter raised to 2 magiging newton meter raised to 3 kung baga ito is naka ganitong form mamultiply natin sa ganitong form so yung magiging answer nya is newton meter cube okay so itong 425 is na reaction so yung unit nya is newton din itong 4 is meter meter raised to 3 so, 500 is newton din. Itong 3 is meter raised to 3. So, kung makapansin natin, lahat sila is same lang ng uh, units. So, we can combine it. Makukuha natin yung C sub 1 is negative 545.833 newton meter cube. So, pwede natin i-replace ito dito sa expression natin. So, ito na yung magiging main equation natin. Finally, nakuha na natin yung equation ng ELY sa beam na to. So, yung, so yung main question talaga, hanapin natin yung uh, ELY at the point of application of 200 newton meter. So, gaano kalayo itong 200 newton meter from the R1? So, it's obvious na 1 plus 2 is 3. So, mag-set tayo ng x is equals to 3. Hanapin natin yung ELY. So, ito na siya guys. I set x equals 3. So, ito magiging 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 3 is 0. And substitute x as 3. So, simple lang. I-type nyo lang to sa calculator and makukuha natin na yung ELY is equals to 391.667 newton meter cube or rounding off negative 392 newton meter cube so as you can see uh, match siya sa ating answer key so naging positive lang siya kasi yan yung value ng deflection natin so yung negative lang siya meaning uh, yung approach ng deflection about this point is somewhere downwards. So that's all for today and thank you for watching. Hope na nakatulong ako sa inyo guys. Stay tuned for more videos and God bless.